Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and uh, I'm here to talk again about Diddy and his nefariousness. Okay, so while we're digging up all this dirt and talking about his history of violence, specifically towards women and all the nefarious things he's done, let's not forget about the time that he threatened to put pause on a pregnant Kamora Lee sentence. All right, let's get into it. So now this all was reported in November of 2023. Sean Diddy Combs once allegedly threatened to hit pregnant Kamora Lee Simmons. So Sean Diddy Combs threatened to hit Kamora Lee Simmons while she was pregnant years ago. And this is according to a resurfaced 2004 interview. Now Simmons, who was married to Def Jam Recordings founder Russell Simmons from 1998 until they separated in 2006, was profiled in New York Magazine and which a record executive is quoted saying that Diddy was nasty towards Simmons. Saying that there was a nasty cloudburst when Kamora uh, said something to Diddy and he didn't like it, so he threatened to hit her. Was going to put pause on her. Please pay attention. Now, this is how the record industry executive recalled it. Now, the baby fat founder chimed in saying, and I was pregnant. That moron. Of course, after the alleged incident, Diddy got down on his knees and publicly apologized. I want y'all to pay attention. At the end of the day, does Diddy think that he can just do whatever he wants, will, or made to people and then simply just apologize? You know, I don't believe any of his apologies are ever sincere, heartfelt. In fact, they're disingenuous, in my opinion, because if he were truly sorry, why would he continue to do these things to different people, allegedly? Why would there be so many allegations of violence perpetuated by him, by his own hands, on other people? Okay? And so anyway... Now, Kamora said, I respect him for being a fierce entrepreneur, and I appreciate knowing that everything he does is emulating my husband. The profile has resurfaced amid allegations that came out against Diddy. Now, as the Post previously reported, singer Cassie filed a bombshell lawsuit against Diddy. And see, that's when all these old things started coming up to the surface, all these things that he's done in the past. Okay, uh, basically, like they said in Rolling Stone, he has a history of doing these things. Let's not forget how he allegedly beat Misa Hilton, the mother of his son, Justin, until she was forced to hide and run and get under a car. How he allegedly broke Kim Porter's nose. And then how another time there was an incident where she fought back, okay, and clipped him with a corkscrew. All right, this is all so crazy. And did he? I don't think he's changed a bit. He sat there and gave that little fake apology when he was talking about uh, the video with Cassie and what he did. But at the end of the day, we know he wasn't sorry because he should have said that and could have said that a long time ago. And then the fact that Kamora and Kim Porter have been such good friends or were such good friends prior to Kim's passing, of course, but had been such good friends for all these years. So clearly he had no respect for Kim and no respect for Kimora. I mean, who would say that to a pregnant woman, first of all? And let's not forget that Gina Hughes uh, said that he also put pause on her while she was pregnant. And, you know, so the story goes that basically he got upset because Kimora intervened when he was going in on Kim. Okay, and told Kim, basically, you don't have to put up with this mess. Okay, you don't have to stand here and take this. So Diddy's like, oh, wait a minute, who you think you're talking to? I then just went in on her, honey, and threatened to put hands on her. So I find it also nefarious and clearly egregious. And, and it's very funny that people like Kalina Harper and uh, Salmaya Krishna Murthy are, Murthy are trying to basically defend him. In fact, some of these other people that are defending him, and I'm not talking about celebrities, I'm talking about regular everyday people. They don't know about any of these allegations. They hadn't heard about any of these things. Well, of course they have, but they don't care because a lot of people, like I told you before, are just fans and they'll sit up there and you know they don't care what these people do. Uh, they don't care how they do it. They will cake for them to no end. That's what they will do at the end of the day. And I just find it interesting that Russell would still have anything to do or say with him after this. 
Now, while Diddy did not provide a comment to the publication at the time, Simmons gave an update on their dynamic. And that's basically when she said that, you know, he was emulating her husband, Russell, and uh, that she appreciated the fact and respected the fact that he was an entrepreneur. I can't respect anything that he does after seeing these things that he's done publicly and after seeing the way he's treated people so nasty. Okay, so anyway, the resurfaced profile claimed that Diddy got down on his knees and apologized. So when he got down on his knees, now here's what I'd like to know. When he, in fact, did get down on his hands and knees and apologize, did he also let people know why he was apologizing? I mean, did he tell people that I'm apologizing to this woman down on bended knee because I threatened to put paws on her while she's pregnant? Did he say all of that? Because I seriously doubt it, okay? I seriously doubt it. He may have just, you know, uh, made it seem minuscule, like it was just a slight disagreement, but I definitely don't think that he told people the full truth or the full scope of what was going on. All right? I absolutely don't think so. And, and this brings me back to what I told you all last year. Now, remember when Kamora's house caught on fire? Yeah, remember that? And I told you all that I absolutely think that Diddy had something to do with it. She had some work done on her house previously. And I absolutely believe, and I could be absolutely wrong, but I could also be absolutely right. I told you then that I think that Diddy likely paid someone to go over there and pretend they were workers or could have paid an actual worker to go in there and do something so that that fireplace would catch on fire. Okay, that's what I absolutely think at the end of the day. Uh, but anyway, if you recall, when all of these things started coming out, Kamora did post on her Instagram saying, as you sow, so shall you reap. And she is absolutely right. That's why Diddy is getting all of his karma right now, as far as I'm concerned. He is getting everything that he put out and it's all coming back. It is all coming back. You know, just going around being so angry and hostile all the time, just feeling so entitled as if every little thing has to go your way. Who are you? Who are you that you get all of this preferential treatment, that everybody has to bow and bend to your demands and your commands and do what you say. And when they don't, you want to put paws on people and then brags about it. This is how you know he's not sorry for any of it. This is how you know he has no remorse because first of all, like I told you, he is a sociopath. But second of all, according to all the allegations, right, specifically the ones made by Little Rod, he bragged about putting hands on people. He bragged about going upside somebody's head with a bottle and a chair. He doesn't care about doing harm. He doesn't care where he does these things. Let's not forget how he did Lori Ann Gibson. Okay, let's not forget how in the Rolling Stone piece, the expose, they talked about him attacking and jumping on a woman in an office. Let's not forget any of this. At the end of the day, this is all sick behavior by a demented and deranged man who behaves like a lunatic. And I don't doubt that had Shaka Khan's son not intervened when he was all up in her face, he might may have put paws on her. Okay, had he not been stopped in the nick of time, please pay attention. And so it's all crazy, honey. At the end of the day, Diddy needs some psychological help and evaluations, and hopefully he'll be able to get that in prison. OK, because that's the only place I see him going anytime soon. And that's, in fact, exactly where he needs to be. And so you all drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I mean, you know, it's one thing to be nefarious, but putting your hands on a pregnant woman, threatening to do so to another that's, in fact, married to one of your so-called friends. Yeah, that's absolutely egregious. All right. Please pay attention. But I will talk to you all again soon. Peace.